joint action myth buster, shoulder flexion or shoulder extension. So this one is bound to come up in your exam, either for level two or for level three, both talking in relation to joint actions. And it's an area where people get a little bit confused. So let's clear that all up and just decipher the difference between shoulder flexion and extension. Flexion generally means anything coming into a fetal position. So F for fetal, F for flexion, flexion of all joints in the body. So flexion is usually in a fetal position except for shoulder flexion. So for shoulder flexion, it's when the arm is actually overhead. So shoulder flexion is flexion of the shoulder girdle, arm goes overhead. And then extension of the shoulder is literally arm by the side. So you're in this nice elongated neutral position. And another way to remember that is that if all this is flexion usually, then when we're in neutral position here, that's absolute extension. Every joint in our body is in extension when we stand in this neutral position. So you can come back to that every time. So if you're sat in your exam, level two or level three, and you're able to move around, obviously you can't get up and walk around the room, but you can kind of move, you, you own your body. That is your resource that you can have with you. It's kind of like you've got your manual there. So if you learn it in yourself and in your body and just get to grips with the fact that flexion is overhead and extension is down next to your body in this big neutral position, then you'll be able to bring back and recall that in your head throughout your exam. So if you get a question on shoulder flexion or shoulder extension, shoulder flexion is overhead, shoulder extension is down by the side, and I'll see you in the next video.